Hello there and welcome. Have you ever asked yourself why we think we have to work hard if we're going to win? It takes hard work. Years of hard work. It's not good information. In fact, it's a lie. Stop and think of some of the people you know that have been working real hard for a long time and they're not winning at all. They're broke. They're renting a place to live. They don't own their own home. They're probably driving a used car. Down south they say that dog won't hunt. The idea of working hard is silly. It's silly. Listen, I want you to think of what this book is. This is Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. He writes in here, there are 30 major causes of failure. There's 13 principles of success. Now listen to this. He said, if you are one of those people who believe that hard work and honesty alone will bring riches, perish the thought because it is not true. Riches, when they come in huge quantities, are never the result of hard work. Riches come, if they come at all, in response to definite demands based upon the application of definite principles and not by chance or luck. Riches come if they come at all in response to definite demands based upon the application of definite principles and not by chance or luck. In other words, you gotta find a, a demand, you gotta find a need and fill it. You gotta follow certain success principles if you wanna win. All the principles are outlined here. We teach all the principles here at Proctor Gallagher Institute. I have been studying these principles and working with them now for uh, 59 years. As a matter of fact, we've got the principles of prosperity or the 13 principles. It's a video program. We outline them, you'll see it. It's a powerful program. If you listen to the principles of prosperity every day, every day, every day, all year, I guarantee you, your income would change. You see, look at, see this stuff here, you know, Like That's paper. We call it money. Money is an idea. Money goes where it's invited and it stays where it's welcome. The idea that you have to work hard for this stuff is not true. Some of the people that work the hardest are the ones that are in the least. Now think about it. I was reading where Taylor Swift, young gal singer, was the highest paid entertainer last year. She's doing what she absolutely loves. That's not hard work. I get very well paid. I'm doing what I absolutely love. The idea that you have to work hard is silly. When you love what you're doing, you'll never work again. See, I see work as something that you're doing that you don't enjoy and you don't want to do. And it takes a lot of energy. Think. You see, we teach the principles of success. We teach them. All of our programs are based on the principles of success. This man spent, that wrote this book, spent his entire life studying 500 of the world's most successful people. He became intimate friends with people like Henry Ford and Thomas Edison, Harvey Firestone. He became intimate friends with them. They were doing what they absolutely loved. They changed the whole world. Ford put us on wheels. Edison eliminated the place. They were doing what they love and they earned millions. What do you love doing? Quit working and start doing what you love and you'll never work again. Now you think about that for a while. I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. A lot of things I don't know, but this isn't one of them. I do know this. I've studied it every day, my entire adult life. And I went from being very unhappy and very broke to being very happy and very wealthy. It's like Sophie Tucker says, I've been rich and I've been poor, rich is better. You don't have to work hard. When you're doing what you love, you don't work at all. Think about it. It's Bob Proctor, thank you.
I hope you enjoyed this video. We put a lot of good information up here and it causes everything in your life to get better. If you'd like us to notify you every time we put a new video up, hit subscribe and then turn on notifications. Check out all our videos and we will notify you when we put a new one up.